friends today i'm going to tell you the softening of water by zeolite method now zeolite is also called as the permuted process the principle of the zeolite is the zeolite is hydrated sodium alumino silicate capable of exchanging a reversibly sodium ion for hardness producing ions in water it is also used as softening of water for water treatment we can use sodium zeolite that is na2ze which can be written as na2o al2o3 xsio2 yh2 that is hydrated sodium aluminum silicate every time we are not able to write this formula so what we write na2ze now zeolite are of two types natural zeolite and synthetic zeolite natural zeolite which are non porous in nature synthetic zeolite which are porous in nature here we see the process now here is a diagram where we see hard water inlet zeolite bed gravel soft water outlet sink nacl storage injector now what exactly happens see here i'll tell you the hard water first we are going to percolate at a specified rate in the zeolite bed okay now this zeolite bed contains the sodium ions so when the hard water is passed in the zeolite bed the zeolite absorb all the cations which are present in the water now when it absorb the cations like calcium and magnesium then it gives equivalent amount of the sodium ions so when there is a soft water we get equivalent amount of the sodium salt in it here we see for softening of water by zeolite process the hard water is percolated at a specified rate through a zeolite bed okay now the zeolite bed it holds the sodium ions loose and it can be represented as na2ze where ze represents insoluble radical framework when the water passes through the zeolite bed the hardness causing ions like calcium magnesium etc they are retained by the zeolite as calcium zeolite and magnesium zeolite respectively while the outgoing water contains equivalent amount of sodium salt so students when the hard water is percolated it passes in the zeolite bed the zeolite bed it absorb all the cations present in the water and gives equivalent amount of the sodium ion so in the soft water what we see the water which contains equivalent amount of the sodium salt now here we can see some of the reactions the first reactions magnesium bicarbonate plus na2ze this is a zeolite bed which is represented as na2ze so it absorb the cations like magnesium so we get mgze that is magnesium zeolite and the sodium salt as a soft water now see here the second reaction in this also this is a calcium bicarbonate plus na2ze so what this zeolite absorb it absorb only the cations and gives the sodium salt in third calcium chloride plus na2ze so the zeolite again it absorb only the cations like calcium and gives the sodium salt like nacl magnesium chloride plus sodium zeolite again it absorb the cations like magnesium and gives the sodium salt like nacl same with here the calcium sulfate plus sodium zeolite again the zeolite absorb the calcium and we get the sodium salt magnesium sulfate plus sodium zeolite gives magnesium zeolite plus the sodium salt same this is the ferrous sulfate plus na2ze gives fez that is the cation is absorbed and sodium sulfate is given out magnesium sulfate plus sodium zeolite gives magnesium zeolite and sodium sulfate so 
this is the cations and the anions that is the salts which are present in the water now in this salt all the cations like calcium magnesium fe mn that is the manganese all are being absorbed by this zeolite that is na2 ze so it absorb all the cations see all the cations which are being present in the water and we get equivalent amount of the sodium salts see in this reaction what we see we get an equivalent amount means the zeolite bed it absorb only the cations it does not absorb the anions and when it absorb the cations in that it gives the sodium ions so whenever we see here what we see we get the equivalent amount of the sodium salt we get the equivalent amount of the sodium salt in the softened water so when this bed is exhausted means when the sodium ions are over what happens the regeneration takes place now see the regeneration now in the regeneration first we see the reactions like see here, the zeolite when it absorbs the cations like calcium zeolite see here, and the magnesium zeolite okay so it is regenerated by passing nacl solution here we you can see the nacl solution here you can see the nacl solution which is also called as a brine solution so this calcium zeolite or magnesium zeolite when it is treated with nacl solution we get sodium zeolite na2 ze again it is reclaimed again it is reclaimed plus this is the calcium chloride and magnesium chloride sir calcium chloride and magnesium chloride which is nothing but the washings and which can be removed through the sink as we have seen in the diagram so what exactly is how we can write this we can write it as after some time when the zeolite is completely changed into calcium and magnesium zeolite here we can see calcium and magnesium zeolite then it get exhausted as i told you before saturated with calcium and magnesium ions and it ceases to soften water ceases means it stops to make the water soft at that time it can be regenerated and reused by treating it with 10% brine that is sodium chloride solution and here again the sodium zeolite is reclaimed by regeneration so this was the procedure in which we can see the process of the zeolite as well as in that we can see the regeneration now we can see the some of the advantages see they are very easy first it remove the hardness almost completely second equipment is compact and occupying less space it is quite clean it requires less time for softening it requires less skill for maintenance and operation what are the disadvantages now this method only replaces calcium and magnesium ions by sodium ions the outgoing water contains more sodium salt third one high turbidity water cannot be softened efficiently by zeolite process i hope that you have understood the zeolite method the process the regeneration the advantages and the disadvantages thank you